they're teaching. They're teaching something. No, no, this is this is nothing new that we're teaching. This is old. This is what Christ taught. This is what's in the word. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy, set apart. Remember my feast day. You need to cut it down. He said, these are my feast days. With these feast days, they have significance. I'm going to share something with you all. My husband's doing this teaching on curses. I shared this with him. I was listening to this guy, Benaya Israel, that does deep, deep research. Deep research. And he found some information, some documentation of uh, the Romans. You know, Josephus, of course, and we have this book as well, and uh, Tacitus, or Tacitus, however you pronounce his name. And my husband said that the Hebrew word for curse means, as I stated earlier, when he, he removed his hands of protection. And in 70 AD, it was documented by Tacitus and Josephus that when they came in on our people, because there are people, Josephus said that many of them went further into Africa, and they're still in Africa to this day. When you really research people, you will see that a lot of the people that they got from the slave trade were from those people that went deeper, that left Northeast Africa, Israel, ye so lately, and went down into Africa. And they know this stuff. It's documented. They documented this stuff. I found so many old books documenting who the people are today. That's you. You wondering why we all on the bottom, black people, why we can't ever get on the top, why they killing us and we can't do nothing about it. The hand of protection has been removed. But in this text that he found, they documented, they said that they saw this light shining around the temple. Now, these are people documenting this stuff back then in 70 AD. And, and around this time, it was a feast that was going on. And they said that they saw like chariots in the sky, like an army in the sky. Heard this noise like thunder that was moving away. Hallelujah. He was removing his hands of protection. And after that, the legion of of the Roman army came in and destroyed our people. Josephus said they slaughtered, slaughtered millions. And the ones they did not kill, he said they ran further into Africa. People, we got to look at things from a historical perspective too. There's a lot of things that have been hidden from us. I was talking with my friend, I'm going to share this and then we're going to pray and get off with my friend from Cameroon. And we were talking about some of these things. She, she's a uh, Bantu. Uh, she was telling me, she said, you know, all of that area over there, Angola, and uh, as a matter of fact, that was the number one area that they took slaves from. The second area was over there in West Africa in Dahomey. It was called Dahomey. But the number one area was Angola, where the Congolese people are who are the Bantu people. That's where they took most of the slaves from. That a lot of them were the, from a tribe of Yehuda. This stuff is documented. You don't know who you are, but they know who you are. And they got you fools staying in a state of cursing, a state of, of, of a cursed living because you've been told that the Torah has been done away with. And that's the reason why we went off into captivity to this day. What it's saying, people? Our Bible says that the transgression transgression of the law, the Torah, is sin. That's what the word says, people. I didn't say it, the word said it. But yet we don't follow it. So that's transgression. So then what? We're sinning. I'm done. I'm done, people. You know, I ask you all to pray fast. Ask the Most High to open up your understanding of his word, the deep mysteries of his word, to show you the truth. Nothing but the truth. <laughs> and you better be ready for it when he, sh when he show you the truth. And the question is, 
Well, he revealed this truth to you. What are you going to do? Because now you, you, you're going to be standing at a crossroad. What do I do? Do I continue in the way that I know is not correct? That I've been taught all these years some of these things? Or do I make change? You may say, oh, I'm going to make change. Okay, we'll see. But it's time to fast and pray. And pray. Seek direction. So that we can be the one that are set apart. The one that's called out. The vessel of honor. May the Most High, Yah, be bless you. May he be with you. I'm going to give this over to my husband and let him finish it out. Salama, salama. All right, all right. You know, um, wow. That uh, teaching, you know, it, it's heavy because it makes you step back and look at uh, what we're doing. And when I say we, I'm talking about those uh, that are involved in the church. Um, it make you look at what's going on. The Most High is waking up his people. Mm -hmm. Now you're probably wondering what, what do I mean by that? You know, what, what does he mean by, you know, he's waking up his people? The Most High is having people to look and study his word and to show them. They're now beginning to see the truth of his word. And these people are ministering this word. They're bringing out this truth. This is why my wife and I continue to tell you. Go back and study it for yourselves. Mm -hmm. We give you the information. What we have given you, we prayed about, we studied, the Most High showed us, and we in turn give it to you, and we tell you, don't take our word for it. Mm -hmm. Don't take our word for it. Like my mother used to say, don't be like the little birds in the nest, that when the mama bird's feet land on the nest, the baby birds just open their mouth and receive whatever is to be given. Now we know that's nature. We know that's how the mama bird feeds his babies. But we, we are intelligent beings. And what we ought to do is to uh, study the word for ourselves. And we cannot, I say this so often, we cannot read and study the Bible in our Western understanding because the Bible is not a Western book. It's Hebrew. So you got to go back to that language in order to understand what's being said. When you do that, then you will see some of the mistakes that was taught in the church. This is why we have this ministry to show you those mistakes and to say to you, come out. Now, the next question is, this is all I've known all my life. You're telling me that church come from Kirke or Sirke that word. and <laughs> it means goddess? So, all these years, we've been going to what we call a church unknowingly that is a witch, is a goddess, and to. we're praying to our Heavenly Father, at least we believe that we are, but we're involved in something that's paganistic. What do I do then? You're telling me I need to leave the church. Where do I go? What do I do? Here's a suggestion. And I'm not saying this just for people to come on. No, I don't work like that. The first thing I tell you is pray and ask for direction from the Most High. 
The next thing I say to you is come on to the broadcast. Listen to the broadcast. Search even to see of places you can go who worship on the Sabbath. And go and attend and get the truth of the word. I've been in this all my life. It's hard to leave. Trust me, I understand. I completely understand. But my question to you is, are you going to serve the most high or mammon? Are you going to listen to the most high or man? Church is man and mammon. The most high is the most high. This is his word. And I just want to add some clarity to that. <clears throat> if people want to come together in a building and worship, I mean, it's nothing wrong with that. That's not what we're saying. But you got to make sure that it's in alignment with the word, which most of these places, now that you know why I don't like to say that, I don't have to say it, that they call, you know, a place of worship, um, a lot of them, it's a lot of pagan ways in them, people, just plain and simple. And when you have been doing things a certain way, I'm talking about this is this has been going on for hundreds and hundreds of years that this was passed down to us. But it's, it's not by accident that the Most High is waking people up and returning them back to the, the true word of what Yahushua taught during his time. You know, there's a passage in the Bible that says that, uh, talks about them, um, I'm a, it's, it's paraphrasing, preaching another Jesus. Why do you think they're saying that he's, they're preaching another Yahushua? <laughs> because at that time they were. That's another teaching. All in itself, so much, so much stuff that have been twisted and changed up deliberately. That's why the scripture says, that Satan has fooled the whole world. But he's waking up his people. Some people are saying, no, I remember I was talking with a young lady from Britain. It was, it was a couple of them, actually. We were on the chat group. And I told them, I said, you know, a lot of young people are gravitating to this truth. Most of the older people are like, no, uh-uh. And I never thought about this. She said, you, you know, Brenda, she said, that's just like our people uh, when, when they left out of Egypt. It was the old ones that died out. Because they had become so inbred with them, such a part of them, that they couldn't even grasp it. That's why they, they went worshiping idol gods again. It was so ingrained within them. Egypt. They, want, they said they wanted to go back to Egypt. That has some spiritual significance to it. Because it means bondage. So they wanted to go back not only physically, but it was spiritual bondage. But Yahushua came to set us free from this bondage. And he's waking people up to free us from this spiritual demonic bondage that's over us. So we can be who he's called us to be. And I know what I wanted to tell you. I, I had forgot about my friend from... Cameroon. I said, you know, uh, she told me that they were all one group of people, Angola, Con Congo, and all those areas over there. We were one kingdom, one people. I said, yeah, I do know that. She said, until the colonizers came and split us all up. And I said, yeah, and they, did you know there were 12 tribes of them? She said, yeah. I said, you knew that? Yeah. I said, okay. Well, you see now with the Bantu people, the 12 tribes, it's us. Scattered. They came and I, I, I just don't know what else to say and how to tell you all people to just study so that you can see this stuff. So much has been hidden from us and they pitted us against one another. We even talked about that. How we felt that our brothers and sisters on the motherland didn't like us. I know you guys have heard this. And she said, how did this come about? I said, because they were telling us one thing and telling you one thing. The, the, the Queen of Congo, I, I was listening to her doing a speech. She had came over here to America and somebody interviewed her. And she said she, it was not only her, but other people from Africa that we've heard 
They said they, they did not know that we went through what we went through over here. They didn't know when they brought our ancestors over here that they went through this. And I told my friend, I said, I remember some years ago, I came across this young lady that was from Africa. And she, I asked her, I said, why do you all hate us? She said, y'all left and went into America and forgot about us. Like Joseph went into Egypt. I said, no. They did not tell them. They had, they're just learning, people, what we went through over here. They're just not learning this stuff. Just not learning this stuff. They're telling us some things. We're telling them some things, and we're putting two to two together. That's why they wanted to keep us apart. Do you know that when they come to America, they tell our brothers and sisters over in the motherland to, to not affiliate with us? My friend said, brother, they told me not to even go and associate with the blacks over here in America when I came here. And I have a friend, she said she heard the same thing. Because if we come together and start talking, we're going to figure this stuff out. Who we are, the lies that they told, and it's coming out, people. Research, research, research for yourself. You don't know where to start. Just, just type in the black Hebrews. It's many, as a matter of fact, next week I'll give you some books that you can start on. One of them is uh, from uh, Babylon to 10, book two. And another one is Bruder. Uh, Jean, I think Bruder is her name. And it's the Black Jews of Africa. So I'll give you some more books that you can read. I, I, got, I got a bunch of them that I can give you. Where these people, before they enslaved us, they knew who we were when they went over there. They documented. And they got us being called Yehudi. Which is Judah. <laughs> they documented this stuff. But nevertheless, people, we love you all. Continue to keep us lifted up in prayer. We'll do the same for you guys and pray for you as we always do. Pray that the Most High will open your eyes so that you can see the truth. Open your ears so that you can hear the truth and touch your hearts so that you can receive the truth and walk in the truth. All right, all right. You know, um, also... I, I don't want to talk too much to take away from uh, the lesson, but um, some people don't want to read uh, books outside of the Bible because they feel, you know, it's not a part of the Bible. So why should I take time to read it? How old are you? Well, uh, the Bible is a history book and it's uh, not only history, historic, but it's uh, present and future. Other books complement the Bible. The books that my wife was uh, telling you, some of the books that she mentioned, it complements the, the Bible because it tells you who these people are. Now, um, she had mentioned Bantu, and as you see, I have uh, uh, the, the Kekongo praise. And I said earlier that uh, Paleo Hebrew came out of the Bantu language. Now, this is something that you have to go and research. You see where it says Kimbo, Kimbo, Natata, and Zambi. I'm going to pause there. In Zambi, that is a characteristic of our Heavenly Father. That name or that word right there uh, has been made mockery of. Mm -hmm. And the mockery is zombies. Mm -hmm. We see these Walking Dead movies. We see the uh, the television series Walking Dead. Zombies. We uh, and all of this is making mockery of our heavenly Father. We didn't know this until we began to study and research. Is making mockery of him. Let's go on. Yamazulu, Kimbo, Kimbo, Nayisaya, Congo. Yesiah is Yeshua or Yahusha. But look at Congo. What comes to your mind other than the uh, African continent or the uh, place in Africa, Congo? What else comes to mind? King Kong. Being made mockery again. Congo means the belt of truth. This is who... Yahusha is, Yesiah. He's the truth. I am the way, the truth, and the life. So, when you do research, especially in the Bantu Kikongo language and other dialects, 
you'll see a lot of the language is what is written in the scriptures. When you go back to the scriptures again in its original language, you'll see how it matches up with the Bantu language. So with that said, Father Yah, we come before you in the name of your son, our Savior, Yesiah, Yahusha, Congo. Hallelujah. And Father, we ask that you would cover us, that you would bless us, that you would increase us, that you would use us for what you created us to do, Father. This lesson, this word, Father, allow it to penetrate into the very essence of our souls and allow us to walk in it, Father, pleasing you. Help us to come out of Babylon yes. and walk with you, Father. Babylon being the church, Babylon being the rule over the people that is not of you. Father, help us come out and walk in you and with you and before you. Please, Father. And continue to direct us and guide us and to minister to your people, Father, that they may see and hear the truth. We thank you and we love you so much. We give you praise, honor, and Kimbo, Kimbo. glory in Yahusha's name, Yesiah Congo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Hallelujah. Amen. And amen. 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 And we amen. love you all. Amen. May the Most High continue to bless you and be with you. And uh, just, just go forward in him and seek truth. Please search the scriptures. Do your research. Yes. Please, people, yes. do your research. We love you. Pray for us as we pray for you. And I'm going to do a study on that because it's not only uh, King Kong and um, the zombie. Because I researched that about the zombie when I heard that. And I was just stunned with the documentation that I found how it was mocking our people, referring to them as zombies because they they were they were called zombies because they their God, a lot of them, was in zombie that when they came over here, they called them zombies because they were walking around like they were dead, no life in their eyes. This was documented on on the plantations because they've been stripped of their heritage, that they couldn't speak their when they brought our ancestors over here, they couldn't practice their spirituality. When you go and start really researching, you'll see they they're do, they document that we had a God that we served, which was the supreme God that we serve in now. They don't tell you that. You have to research that. They we couldn't speak our language. We 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 couldn't practice our religion, our people, uh, our culture, nothing. And they would just walk around because they were way away from home, and they were like dead, just walking around dead. And it morphed into the zombies by this guy that, that uh, picked it up and made start making a movie and it morphed into what you see today. The clown. The clown is mockery of us. I researched that. I don't even like clowns now since I read it's making mockery of us. It's a lot of things that they make a mockery of us and we don't even know it because <laughs> they said we won't read. That's what they're saying. This stuff is documented. But I'm going to do a teaching on, on it one day just to show you how they mock us. All right. You all have a beautiful rest of your uh, Saba and we say Salama Salama Salama, Salama.